Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to roast a chicken breast and serve it with romesco sauce. To start off with, we're going to need a butterfly chicken breast, uh, a video of which you can see being prepared on mahalo.com. I have about three cloves of garlic minced up, chopped up really, really fine. About a tablespoon of uh, marjoram leaves that have been chopped up as well. If you can't find marjoram, oregano will be fine. It has a little bit more of an assertive flavor, but I don't think it's going to overpower anything. About half a tablespoon of uh, smoked paprika, Spanish style paprika. A uh, little bit of pepper to taste, probably going to put in a couple of pinches, and about two tablespoons of a, a light or a pure olive oil, not extra virgin. We're also going to need some romesco sauce uh, for two servings. I usually count on uh, one breast each for a serving per person. Uh, I would say about a cup of romesco sauce you will need. So to start with, I'm going to wind up uh, making a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a rub or a marinade, if you will, starting off with our olive oil. I'm going to stir in the paprika, marjoram leaves, and the garlic. A little pinch of pepper. Stir all that in. I could use a spoon, but I'm going to have to rub it all over the chicken breast, so I might as well get my fingers in there. Mix it all together. You can see how the oil winds up taking on the color of the paprika right away. I'm going to take this and we're just going to spread it all over, save a little bit in the bowl, and all over the chicken breasts. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Really helpful to let this guy marinate for about an hour. You can go in room temperature if you want. If you're going to go longer than an hour as far as marination, uh, get it into the refrigerator. This is something you can easily do uh, the night before. And then that way, all you need to do when you come home is take it on out of the refrigerator, turn on your oven. We're going to roast it at about 425 degrees. After our chicken is marinated for an hour, we're going to put it onto a roasting pan. I usually just use a baking sheet with a layer of parchment on the, uh, on the pan itself. You can use some aluminum foil. And we just lift the chicken breast on up, skin side up. If you have any extra marinade, you can either gather that up and get it on top of the chicken as well. Then this is going to go into a 425 oven. And we're going to check it after about 20 minutes. It may take as long as 30. We're looking for a really nice springy quality when the chicken is done. As it's raw here, you can see when I press down on it, it's really, really soft and mushy. And as it starts to become cooked, it's going to have more of a springy feel to it when you press it with a clean finger. If you want to do an internal temperature check with the, an instant read thermometer, you're looking for about 150 to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. So into our 425 oven, it goes. Okay, so the uh, chicken after it uh, is uh, finished cooking, uh, I'm going to take it out of the oven really important that I get a hold of it and get it onto a cutting board and let it rest for uh, at least five minutes before I start to slice it. If I give it a, a quick little press with a clean hand, the chicken has a really good firm feel to it. No longer spongy. If it's really spongy and soft, it's got to roast for a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and cut the breast right in half. I'll slice it up. One of this breast halves right here will be one serving and we'll serve it up with a little bit of romesco sauce. We'll take our knife, cut it right in half. Okay. Really great way to keep the skin from uh, uh, sticking or tearing up on the uh, meat itself is to remember that the sawing motion of the knife is going to do the cutting. Don't press down so much or else you're going to wind up tearing it. So I'm actually going to take my knife and I think I'll hold it at a little bit of an angle here. And I saw it back and forth like this. I'm holding onto the chicken breast very lightly with my fingers. Nice little sawing motion until I get through the skin and then I can saw it back and forth. There it goes. Okay. Take some nice pieces of chicken, arrange it out onto the plate, can even shingle it, angle it a little bit. I'm going to come in with a little bit of romesco sauce. If you want your guests to dip the chicken into the romesco sauce, you can put a little spoonful of it right at the end of the plate. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley. Maybe a little bit more romesco sauce on top because you're going to find your guests are going to want a lot of it. Okay. 
That is your oven roasted butterfly chicken with romesco sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.